Hi everyone, this is Bea from Responsive Muse. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a new tool I found online. I want to show it to you because I found it pretty easy to use. So if you are a designer or you are a beginner and you're learning, and sometimes programs like Photoshop or Illustrator, they have way too many tools and they become very, very complicated. So this is pretty easy because it's basically drag and drop. And it's for free. So I'm going to show you around a little bit. So first thing I like about it is that you've got millions of images, clip arts, uh, icons, which are free for personal and commercial use. So I'm going over this tab here, and here we have our clip arts. So here we can search for any keyword. Um, let's say I'll search for notebook. So here, if we scroll down, we'll get all the clip arts that have this keyword. Here we have the images. So images are from Pixabay. And it works the same way. Here we're going to write down a keyword and then you can get all the pictures that have this A, uh, the keyword included. So let's say work. So same thing, you can scroll down and you see all the images that are that have sorry the, the keyword. And now I'm gonna to move to the next tab, which are the icons. So we have material design, how cons, font awesome, and iconic. So you have to open and close the tab and scroll up and down to see all the icons. And last tab, we can find templates. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is I'm gonna create a YouTube thumbnail. And great thing about this is that here, if I click on this, I can see that I have a default blog thumbnail, a Facebook cover, a Facebook link, and so on. So I have the social media image sizes, and I can choose if I want an Instagram post, and I can directly click over it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a YouTube thumbnail for this video, so I'm going to click on this, and I get my canvas automatically resizes to, to a thumbnail. Other thing is, if I'm not interested in social media sizes and I want a specific size, here you can change the values and the canvas will resize. Okay, so let's start designing. I'm going to clear my canvas. Okay, so first I'm going to start with an image. So I'm going to the image tab. And I'm going to search for web design. So I'm going to select this picture over here. So just click on it. And you see it appears here on the canvas. So I click on this picture and I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to resize it. So you can move it around a little bit. So I'm going back to the tools and I'm going to add a shape. So I'm going to add this square shape and I'm going to resize it. And here in fill I can click and I can change the color. So I'm going to change it to lead. And I can play with the opacity too, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Just a little bit, okay. 
and I'm going to click over the picture too. I have the background which is a black color so I want it to merge a little bit with the background so it's darker. So uh, now I'm going to bring out a text box. I'm going to click over this icon over here and I got the text box on the top left and I'm going to type the title so I'm going to change the font change it to bold and change the color to white also I'm going to center the text I'm going to move it into the black square and I'm going to bring up the size place it in the middle and I'm going to play a little bit with the char spacing now I'm going to bring up another text frame And I'm going to bring it to the box, to the black box over here. I'm going to change the font. Okay, so another feature that I liked is that you can actually upload your own pictures or you can just uh, link the URL. So for example, I'm gonna get this image over here, so I opened it and what I have to do is just copy this link over here, go back to thumbnailed it, and paste it. and paste it. Click on the arrow and you get the image. And you can resize this and place it wherever you want. So another feature that I like of thumbnailed it is that you can actually download and keep your own designs in a format extension that it's .tni so whenever you want to edit it like the following next day or a week later or you want to keep it as your own template you can actually do it so this is the end guys I hope you like the tutorial and I hope you find this tool useful thank you guys for watching